Uno, due, tre, quattro e cinque. One, two, three, four and five. Today, I would like you to join me on a story and or more than a story, a recipe um, that will support and drive innovation day after day and after day. And the preparation time is only five seconds. And there is one little ingredient that for now is secret that uh, will again empower you to innovate and innovate and innovate. So why I'm so passionate about five seconds? Uh, well, for mainly for two reasons. One is because it doesn't matter how busy you are, you can always spare five seconds. And also because over time, I realized that little five seconds can be very powerful. There are so many emotions, so many ideas that can just spark in, in five seconds. So just do not leave it as a little cliche phrase. I want you to experience it. So I want you to imagine to be a CEO. Why do I say CEO? Because, well, if you own your company, most likely you have, you have all the tools to drive innovation, to drive a change. Uh, but the company that I'm talking about today is your own life. And uh, I want you to take the next five seconds to think about something that you would like to improve about your life, to learn about your life, to fix about your life. And it doesn't matter if you are in a happy phase, good enough phase, or struggling phase, it's not the point. So I'd like you to concentrate and focus and use the next five seconds to think about one idea. Now, you have a project, you are a CEO, but a project will not take you anywhere if you don't have any plan for implementation. So again, I want you to take the next five seconds to think about something that you will be doing every single day for a year to fix, learn, improve, whatever you thought about just a few seconds ago. Okay, so then, you, I don't know whatever, what is the emotion that you went through, what is the feeling, how, how did these five seconds uh, felt like, but I'm sure that you, you had some, I don't know, like they, they, might have, um, they might have been very quick, they might have been lasting forever, they might be scary, fun, it doesn't matter. As long as you have an emotion going through your brain, that's good enough. I'm going to tell you, tell, you, uh, tell you a bit more about myself. And like it or not, this is my own self-portrait. Um, you can see my head, my little body, and my little yellow pencil that I use to draw. And um, I want to take, tell you a couple of things about myself. I like games, and uh, I'm a very sociable, creative person, to the point that my wife, she says all the time, I cannot play by myself. So today, I don't want this to remain uh, my own talk. I want to be our experience. So I want to, you to play with me. And so in the next few slides that I will share, um, whatever you like, if there is something that you, you relate to, you really like, you absolutely dislike, just I'm asking to raise your hand, OK? I will not pick on you. I, you nothing will change but uh, something will change in me because I, I get energized by interaction with people. And whether you like or dislike my talk, you don't want me to feel like at some point <laughs> and stay here the, the entire day, OK? So a little over a year ago, I went through the same experience. Um, it was November 17, 2017. And uh, at work, I was preparing myself for a work promotion. And I was going to start to lead a, a little team. So I wanted to learn about leadership. So I decided uh, that for a year, 
I was going to take one picture a day of something in my daily experience, something that would come across uh, that would tell me a story about leadership. And then I was going to post it on, the, on social media. Again, my, my initial thought was that uh, suddenly I would have become the most liked person on, on all the social media. Actually, not really the case. I was lucky if even my family would click on it, but it doesn't matter. That's a different story. So this is day one of my uh, story, on my, on my journey on uh, leadership. And I'm not really sure that you can really tell a leadership story here. But on that day, in the morning, I thought, OK, um, a leader should be a person that is able to um, analyze a complicated task and break it down into smaller pieces and make it fun for the team to then enjoy and deliver. So that was the closest thing that I could see in my house that meant leadership on that day. So then I kept going day after day and after day. And uh, what I thought it was going to be an interesting journey for me, a learning curve, suddenly became something very daunting, something heavy, uh, homework, basically. So I started to lose interest, but I'm, a, I'm stubborn, and I wanted to complete the task. So around maybe, I don't know, like day 10, I was already running out of ideas, and that was not fun. But then um, I went on a walk around my house. And uh, I'm lucky. It was Sunday. And um, uh, I'm lucky because my apartment is surrounded by a, a lot of rivers and walks, and et cetera. And on that day, I realized that whether instead of me looking at an object and um, trying to force my idea onto the object, I had the opportunity to listen to the objects all over me and allow them to talk to me. So I had the opportunity to, again, to listen to the environment. So these three pictures are simple pictures of reflection of trees in water, basically. And I, but I called them the brainstorming meeting. So I'm pretty sure that you have been sitting in, in work meetings and the very first phase of the meeting is very awkward. Nobody really talks to each other. A lot of time, a lot of, most of the time, people are on their phone. They don't, they don't connect. It's very weird. So like in the picture on the left, the, I, I, in my brain, there is the, brain, the main branch that is the meeting table. And a lot of little branches that are all the people around the table, but static, disconnected from one from the other. Then when the meeting somehow starts, ideas start to flow. And so you can see the ripples. And you can start to see people suddenly becoming friends, you know, talking to each other and engaged. Then towards the end of the meeting, you have this amazing uh, list of ideas uh, generated uh, by the same people that were on their phone at the very beginning. And so my personality, this is the, very, the picture on the very right is my perception, obviously, is me walking away from that meeting and like rain, dropping all the ideas into my own life. So what happened through that little walk uh, on a Sunday is that I listened to the environment and I then learn how to move that, to enjoy that environment every day at work. So it was a fun part of my year. And I, I felt like I had something to tell back at work. And so, um, and so I started to, I wanted to share it. But suddenly, I realized that I was by myself. So I don't know if you ever went through the same feeling, but Imagine that you had this, the most amazing meeting on your, or a discussion the day before. And then the, the following day, you meet the same person in the corridor, and you are two complete strangers. So my journey, they went from a bunch of tasks to oh, how amazing is the environment of, around myself, became a very lonely journey. But actually, I consider this one as the major cornerstone of, cornerstone of, the, of my year. Why? Because I realized that, um, again, it wasn't, the, the point wasn't to, to go through 
a picture a day. The point wasn't really to uh, listen to my surrounding, and the, pro the point wasn't really to um, share and force my ideas onto other people. The point was to listen to myself. So on that very day, I turned my attention on inward, and I started to reflect on myself. Many reasons why I did that, but basically because uh, everyone can run away from me, but I cannot. So I'm stuck with myself. And I want to st close my, my, my story with this, this phase. I call this phase the hidden beauty. Why? Because once you start to look at your, your own inside, then you, st you, you start to see your value, your beauty, your, your, uh, your uniqueness. Okay? This again is an, another picture of my, in my, in, when I, on, my, on one of my trips in Scotland. And to the, the, most of, the majority of you, it could be like just a picture on the sea. But really, there is one person hidden in that picture. If you see it, good. If you don't see it, uh, I'll show you later. But so I want, to, um, I want to use these two pictures to, to reflect back on what I asked you to do like a few minutes ago. So a few minutes ago, I asked you to look at, focus on a topic and commit and start a journey. So my focus was um, on myself. The journey resulted in me finding something beauty, beautiful, something to reflect and to enjoy. I also said that the, sometimes uh, innovation only requires one secret ingredient. And although you can, uh, innovation is a very wide topic. You can be inno innovative if you do um, technological stuff, social stuff, etc. But in my opinion, the main ingredient of innovation is just you. You as a person can drive innovation. You can change. You can be a new self every day. You just need to focus and on spend those five seconds wisely. And that's all my idea worth sharing. Thank you.